Big week. Basketball Newark community, um, Newark High School girls, they are in the state tournament, and right now Newark Catholic boys, they are playing in the regional semifinals. But while it's an exciting time, or it should be an exciting time for Newark Catholic Green Wave, the school community has been waiting through a wave of grief. Whitney Harding joining us now. Whitney, this, this team's playing with some emotion right now. That's right, Brad and Darlene. On Friday night, the Newark Catholic boys basketball team on its won its first district title in almost 10 years. And as they celebrated by cutting down the nets, they also honored a life cut far too short. Friday night inside the Newark Catholic gym, if you closed your eyes, it felt and sounded like any playoff game from years past. But there were two details that made it clear this year is different. The face masks in the stands and black bands pinned on the green wave jerseys. Brady still inspires us all and uh, has given us something, you know, bigger to play for. Seventh grader Brady Hempelman looked forward to eventually following in his family's footsteps and being a part of the green wave tradition. The youth camps are big and, you know, Brady was always one of those kids that was there every day. Uh, giving it everything he had. But on February 4th, Brady died in a car crash. His father, Jeff, survived, but has undergone multiple surgeries. Uh, it, was, it was pretty hard. It was shocking. I mean, I grew up with them. You know, I think that's when communities step up the most and you really appreciate where you come from. And we have a relationship with Dush Graphics here in town. So I had just reached out uh, to them if, with the idea if we could get some shooting shirts done for the guys. And unbeknownst to us, Dush actually just uh, donated all of them. We wear the patches, so we always have them right, right here with us. And we just leave it all on the court for him. That passion, that fire he got, didn't matter how small he was, he was gonna get the job done. So on Friday night, the Green Wave got the job done, winning a district title and cutting down the nets for the first time since 2012. Then the team made a field trip. They had cut a piece of the net off the district championship trophy, and we had about 10 guys go to their house after the game and give it to the family. Just gives us a lot bigger of a goal. It's a lot more than basketball. Now, Newark Catholic is playing Botkins right now in the regional semifinal. It just tipped off at 530 in Vandalia. And guys, it's been really amazing to hear about the different fundraising efforts that have gone towards yeah. helping this family. One of the members of the family sold some T-shirts. Another just community member put up a Facebook fundraiser. It's raised more than $80,000. Wow. Yes. No, nobody should That's have good. to lose a child at that Absolutely. No, and the number of surgeries Jeff's had, I mean, yeah. that money is going to definitely go to a good place. Good deal. Whitney, thanks. Thank you Best so of luck much. to them tonight.